Today, we're honoring Technoblade by building the biggest pig army anyone has ever seen. However, before we start, I'd like to say that I've been going back and forth wondering whether or not to make this video. On one hand, I wanted to include Technoblade in my world as he was a huge inspiration for me to even start YouTube. I mean, I literally started playing Bed Wars because of his videos. And I've made a couple of Technoblade references in my videos in the past. But on the other hand, I didn't want to seem like I was taking advantage of this terrible situation like all these other channels. However, eventually I came to the conclusion that I'd make this video as I wanted to make him a part of my hardcore world and show support to all his fans who are struggling at the moment. Also, as you can see, this video is a fundraiser for the Cancer Research Institute and all profits from this video will be donated to that charity. And if you want to, you guys can donate too down below. If this video even helps one person, then I think it was worth making. Anyways, on with the video. So for a pig army, we need pigs. Hello, piggy. Where are they? And yoink, or should I say oink? Now we have two pigs and we need to turn these two pigs into a lot of pigs. Are you guys hungry? What, what do you even eat? Wheat? No. Seeds? No. Beetroot? No. Wait, yes? What? I was expecting that to be no. Well, that's kind of ruined my plan. Anyways, the point I was trying to make is that we're going to be feeding these pigs potatoes. So one potato for you and one potato for you. And they were our only two potatoes. Oh my God. Um, well done. That was my last totem. So we now have two options. Option one, we could safely fly home and retrieve a totem from our chest room. Or we could do option two and risk our entire hardcore world by completing a raid without a totem. Hmm. Finally. Let's go. Here we go. This is very risky. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, I've only got my elytra on. Oh my god. He could have killed us. I literally forgot we didn't have a totem. Let's get some dirt blocks just in case. Alright, if we need to, we can escape up here. Ow! Oh my god. These guys are easy. The axe guys are the ones to worry about. Oh my god. Can you help me, please? Raid leader? More like dead. <laughs> Let's just spam you. Why does he not care about me at all? Oh, he cares, he cares. Nighttime raids are scary, so perfect. Wait, where are they? Maybe down here? No. There they are. Why is there only one? Ah, okay. Oh no, a witch. If he gives us poison, we could lose our world. There's a couple of witches. We need to get them gone. Okay, nice. Oh no, I should not have jumped down here. Sounds like they're coming from here. Oh yeah. Wait, there's a Vindicator. Come on, yes, I think we got him. Now we need to get down there and get our totem. Oh my God, he's destroying the tree. And we have no arrows. Ow. Oh, we were shooting spectral arrows. Ow, 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 he hurts. Ow. Oh my God, ow, 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 ow. Ha ha, you can't get me. He was too fat to get in there. I can't believe we have no arrows. Wait, I've got an idea. If this works, I'm a genius. Nice. Okay, one of you. Let's go. We've got arrows. <laughs> we did have to kill one villager though. All right, now these guys are dead. <laughs> We're just watching them burn. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you guys can just deal with the raid on your own now. I've got what I came for. Come on. Yes. Let's go. We have nine potatoes. Now, instead of using these potatoes to feed these piggies again, we're going to invest them. Because remember, guys, you should always invest your money wisely. Or I guess in this case, invest your potatoes wisely. Anyways. And now we wait. All right. That was about 48 minutes. And now... I should have used Fortune 3. We have 37 potatoes. Oh, we have 39 potatoes. Are you kidding me? We have... Bruh. That's a poisonous one. We have 43 potatoes, but we're going to need a lot more. So to make this a bit more interesting, I'm going to have a potato war with myself. The sheer amount of potatoes I'm going to have is unimaginable. These pigs are going to be able to eat non-stop for years on end. And now we wait. Right, so we now have all these potatoes and I'm going to harvest them with this Fortune 3 axe. I want you to guess how many potatoes I'm going to get and comment it down below and I'll be sure to heart the ones that are the closest. Literally everyone's going to cheat, aren't they? My guess is about 10,000.
And I was miles off. The actual number was 3,249. That should be enough for our pig army. All right, piggies, where are we going to put you? Because you can't stay here. Because when we get loads, it's going to make the area very laggy. I think if we come this way, I'm surprised they haven't got stuck yet. Oh, um, one is stuck. <laughs> this pig literally just grew up. Ooh. We block off this side and that side. It should make a nice area for the pigs. All right, we'll make that a bit more permanent later, but we need to start getting our pig numbers up. So this bar is going to start at three and you're going to see it progress as the episode goes on. All right, so we're starting at three and we're going to set a goal of a thousand pigs by the end of the episode. Let's do this. Uh, that's not going to work, is it? Come on, eat potatoes. We need you to be a normal pig. How many does he want to eat? That is going to be a fat pig. Oh, he is big. Nice. Wait, I've just realized all these pigs are going to be inbred. Okay, and whilst they're growing up, I am going to pig proof the rest of the area because this one is trying to escape already. Naughty pig. Um, nope. Stop. Nice. Okay, I think it's 100% pig-proof. There is a couple of mobs everywhere, though. Can you not? Please. No. Do you mind, zombie? Leave me alone. It's potato time. Wait, how often can you actually breed pigs? Okay, about five minutes. This is going to take absolutely ages. So, it's pig breeding time. Yes, give me more pigs. Let's go, another pig. Me, little piggy. Yeah. So we have six baby pigs and one, two, three, four, five, six adult pigs as well. So we've got 12 pigs at the moment. This part right here is what I like to call the pig trench. And it stops the pigs from escaping because they're not very smart, are they? Pig's behavior is very strange. You've got all these pigs together and then you've just got this lonely pig trying to escape here. Would you like a potato? Huh? Yes, you would. All right, come with me, sir. All right, we're going to do pig tender. Do you like this pig? Nope. What about this pig? No. This pig? No. This pig? No. All right, yeah, let's cancel pig tender. That pig was way too picky. Trying to steal my pigs, are we? I don't think so. There is no escape. Let's go, another pig. We're slowly getting more pigs. I feel like you could probably make this jump. Right, it's been a little while and we now have about a hundred pigs. So we've actually made a decent amount of progress. But now I think it's time to take a break from breeding pigs and work on decorating this area a bit because it kind of looks terrible at the moment. I think it would be cool to make a really secure looking gate so that the pigs can't escape. I know you're trying to. Look at this guy, he's definitely thinking about a way to get... Wait, how did them pigs get out there? See, this is exactly why we need a really secure gate. All right, so for this, we're going to need a bunch of iron. Then we're going to somehow craft chains. How do you actually do this? Is it with nuggets? Wait, is it something like this? Hmm. Ah, I was kind of right. So it's like this. Perfect. Let's grab a bunch of those. All right, that looks good. And maybe we can get some stone brick as well. All right, and I think here is a good place to build it. If we just clear this. And maybe something like... All right, that looks kind of cool, but maybe we should add stairs in these corners. Oops, maybe slabs. All right, and then something like that. And then we can put chains coming off of it. Um, nope. And maybe one more up here. Okay, I think that needs to be moved down one more, actually. And then we'll put some chains up here, too. And now we just need to build a tower here and here. All right, we just need to add the chains on this side. Perfect. 
But wait, I still feel like it's missing something. Ah, oh, that's right. We still need to build our giant Technoblade statue to watch over the army of pigs. Plus, this way, whenever I fly over this place in my world, I'll be reminded of Technoblade. All right, so as you can see from this picture, Technoblade had a very complicated skin. All right, let's start by getting a bunch of red dye. Nice. Now we're going to need some white dye, some pink dye, and if we kill some squid and combine it with some white dye, we can get gray dye. Then if we get some lapis, nice, and mix it with some white to get light blue dye, perfect. Oh my God, I just saw the side of his crown. All right, I think we've got everything now and this place looks like a good place to build him. Let's do it. And this bit's dark gray. And now there's this like complicated pattern. So this is gonna be interesting. Finally, onto the red. Oh no, this vest part is kind of complicated as well. Oh, that's wrong. I can't really think of another pink to use, but this doesn't really look like it. So this is gonna have to do. Oh yes, the back is so much easier. And done. We now have a giant Technoblade statue watching over the pig army. And back to the pigs. They're so spread out. Excuse me, sir. You don't really look like a pig. Oh, no. He despawned. Hey, can you guys stop hitting me? Oh, no. They also despawned. Um, I think them pigs are trapped. I want to try and gather them all over by the fence. That would make this a lot easier. This way. Okay, I think we're going to do the standing still with potatoes in hand method. This is definitely the easiest way. Okay, I think we now have about... 400 pigs. And we're now going to take another break from grinding pigs for a Technoblade themed challenge. We're going to play a game of Minecraft Bed Wars. And if we win, I get to go out on a boat with my friends. But if I lose, I donate $500 to the charity in the description. This is going to be hard. I haven't played Bed Wars in like over a year. We can still speed bridge. That's good. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to try and fire charge him. <laughs> Why is it so easy to kill people with these? All right, now the next thing we need to do is get diamonds, and then we need to go and get some M's. Actually, we should probably just go for the M's straight away so no one has a chance to get them. Okay, how is everyone doing? Aqua's just AFK. White has killed pink. Oh my god, we need to be careful of white. Ender pearl and potions. All right, we've got this. We need to go take out a bed. Let's go take out red and invis. Oh, no, he fell. Uh, maybe we can get someone else? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let's go. We escaped. Red's chasing me. All right. That's that guy dead. Iron sword will help a lot. Where is white? White's probably going to go for red bed. So we should probably try and get white's bed. Here we go. Got mine in fatigue. Yes, we got his bed. Now we need to take our red bed. Speed. Let's go. No way are we going to win our first game in ages. Oh, red's hiding at his base. No. No. Oh, my God. Oh, we have to donate $500 to charity. To be honest, at least it's going to a good cause. Yeah, I kind of went on the boat trip anyway. Meanwhile. All right, let's fill this pig progress bar up and get to 1,000 pigs. Uh, I mean, I hope the music goes like that. It is 3 a.m. and I am breeding Minecraft pigs. My life is very normal. Also, guys, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. There are so many pigs. All right, we just passed 500 pigs. Wait, we might actually run out of potatoes. I remember to feed myself as well. We just passed 700 pigs. That's a lot of pigs. Everywhere is pink. We're so close. And here we go, the 1,000th pig. Let's go. We've officially bred 1,000 pigs for Technoblade in Minecraft Hardcore. Thank you guys so much for watching and watch this video next.